Heaven is in my heart, part 3, a story from Genesis to Revelation, chapter 18, Christ begins his public ministry. John the Baptist was preaching repentance in the deserts of Judea. He wore camel hair and a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts. People, including many Pharisees and Sadducees, came to see him and hear him speak on the banks of the Jordan River. John baptized them in the waters of the Jordan after they confessed their sins. At that time, Jesus also came to John to be baptized. When John saw Jesus, he refused to baptize him because he knew Jesus was sinless. Jesus insisted that John baptize him. When John baptized Jesus, the heavens opened and the Spirit of God descended on Jesus in the likeness of a dove. And a voice from heaven said, This is my own Son with whom I am pleased. Reference Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. Immediately, Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, went into the desert to fast and pray for 40 days without food and water. At the end of the 40 days, when Jesus was hungry, the devil came to tempt Jesus. He tempted Jesus on three levels. First, he asked Jesus to turn the stones into bread. And Jesus responded, Man cannot live on bread alone. Second, he asked Jesus to throw himself down from the highest point of the temple and Jesus responded, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Finally, he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and said he would give them all to Jesus if Jesus would kneel and worship him. And Jesus responded, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. With the last temptation, Jesus commanded the devil to go away. Immediately Satan left him and the angels of God came and ministered to Jesus. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 11 Jesus prayed before each significant event in his life. He would typically rise very early in the morning and go off to a hilltop or a mountain top by himself to pray for several long hours. This is a model of prayer not only for the religious priests and nuns but also for lay people to strive for. We see this frequently in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The Gospels are the first four books of the second set of books of the Bible known as the New Testament. The New Testament recounts the life of Christ from birth to death, resurrection and ascension into heaven. After 40 days in the desert, Jesus returned to Galilee and began his public ministry in his hometown of Nazareth. At that time, he was around the age of 30. He entered the synagogue on the Sabbath day and read the scriptures from the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to 2. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the afflicted, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord. Then he said to them that the passage from the scriptures had come true that day. Yet the people rejected him since they had known Jesus as the carpenter's son. 
and in spite of Jesus' attempts to explain to them, they were very upset with Jesus. Jesus said to his disciples that a prophet is never honored in his own hometown. The people were enraged and tried to throw him over the cliff. Since it was not yet his time, he walked right through the middle of the crowd unharmed. Then Jesus went to Galilee and preached in Capernaum. Early in his public ministry, Jesus chose 12 apostles to be with him, witness him and share with him. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, along with James and his brother John, whom he called Sons of Thunder, Mark chapter 3, verse 17, were the first to be chosen. They were fishermen. Later, he chose Philip Bartholomew Matthew, who was a tax collector, Thomas, who was a twin and would later be the one to doubt in the resurrection, James, son of Alphaeus, Tadeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who would betray Jesus to the Jewish chief priest for 30 pieces of silver. Jesus' cousin John the Baptist, who was the Elijah type who was to come before the Messiah to prepare the hearts of people to receive the Messiah, was imprisoned by King Herod of Judea. We read this in Matthew chapter 17, verse 11 to 13. John told King Herod that Herod's marriage to his brother Philip's wife was wrong and displeased God. So at an opportune time and on the insistence of his wife, Herod had John beheaded. When Jesus heard of his death, he went to a lonely place to pray. Matthew chapter 14 verse 3 to 12.